Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today we're looking at the arrest of Marlon Pickett. Not many people are really talking about this, probably because it's ongoing. I mean, on the Wayne Carey podcast, there was no mention of it whatsoever, even though it's called The Truth Hurts, but they don't always tell you the truth about the real things that are happening in the world. So from my understanding, there was some burglaries that happened at the end of last year, uh, December 2022 and January 2023, supposedly $400,000 worth of uh, theft or damage or something uh, that happened at commercial properties, and Marlon Pickett is being accused as being part of it. Because it's ongoing, we do have very little information as to what actually happened and what his involvement was. So let's go with what we have and have a look at it. So here is the original news story when Confirmed the story the broke. The 19 Premiership star in Marlon Pickett has been remanded in custody after being arrested for alleged burglary charges. Now, Pickett has been remanded tonight, remains in custody, and will face Perth's Magistrates Court on Monday tomorrow for a bail hearing. Now, now since then, he's been let out on bail. Uh, and back at the Richmond Club, so he paid $50,000 in bail, I believe. And he also had to pay an extra 50000 which is ongoing as far as I know. Um, but let's continue. WA police confirmed that Midlands detectives had charged a 31-year-old man with four counts of aggravated burglary, three counts of stealing, and three counts of criminal damage through during... So stealing, burglary, and there's another charge there. But that's 10 counts. As far as I know, there's 12 counts. So there's two of them that they missed there. Commercial properties. Commercial property damage. December 2022 and January 2023, the last summer. Richmond said on Sunday night in a statement it would support uh, Marlon Pickett. The club will continue to support Marlon and his family while the matters are dealt with. Now, I've spoken to his... Ma so Richmond sound pretty confident that he's going to be innocent. And obviously the first question you have to ask is what was his alibi? Uh, so where was he in December and January of last year or of this year? Um, so was he actually in Western Australia? Can they prove that he was there in the first place? That would be the first thing to let us know. That would be good. So they've spoken to Pickett's manager and here's what he had to say. Spoken to his manager and Anthony van der Veelen, uh, his Perth-based manager. He says in a statement, uh, in response to these allegations, Marlon has a strong intent to defend himself against the charges. We understand and respect the public's interest in this matter, but we also implore all to respect the presumption. So basically he's going to strongly defend himself. So they're pretty confident he's innocent. Um, and also it's ongoing, so they won't tell you anymore. So just a couple of things here. So Brendan Gale has said Piggott will not be available to play this week, but he will be available in around three weeks' time. He wanted to play, and naturally you wouldn't expect anything else. So that kind of tells you that Marlon Piggott isn't that concerned about it. He's not freaking out. He's saying, yeah, I want to play this week. I'm all good. I don't know why they didn't let him play. I mean, if he wants to, sure. I mean, what are they worried about? A bit of booing from the crowd or some sledging from the opposition? I mean, who cares about that? If he wants to play, let him play because the more games he plays, it obviously helps with his contract and helping him to re-sign the next year, reaching his milestones and all that sort of thing. So it's a good thing for that. But, you know, like I said, Richmond are very confident that he's not guilty and it's a serious accusation of burglary on a commercial premises of around $400,000. So you can't say that, you know, I mean, yeah, innocent until proven guilty. But, I mean, imagine if this backfired. Imagine if he was found guilty. That would look like the biggest dickhead you've ever seen. He was arrested on the Sunday, but did actually turn himself into the police station. And the funny thing is, instead of getting ahead of this, Richmond knew about this before it happened and let him play against Fremantle. To me, that's crazy. And like I said, if this comes out that he's guilty, Brendan gow has got a lot to answer for. Now, this is complete speculation, but obviously Pickett lives in Melbourne because he's playing for Richmond. And I think the cops arresting him in the first place, they must know that he was in Perth at that time. So he must have travelled to Western Australia. And why they think he's involved, I don't know. But why would you think an AFL player is involved in 12 charges? And these guys are so confident about it. And then at the end go, oh, yeah, yeah, he's innocent. He had nothing to do with it. I mean, why do they think he's involved in the first place? And what's with this pending arrest bullshit? Why did they let him play against Fremantle? Why did the Tigers let him play as well? Why didn't the cops just arrest him when he got there? Or why didn't they arrest him three months ago? And it's a good thing he's an AFL player and could afford the bail because he had to pay $50,000 and a further $50,000 surety. So, I mean, a regular person isn't going to be able to afford 50 grand just to get out. So, I mean, he shouldn't even be out, really. I mean, <laughs> this is just crazy to me. So it goes on to say, we implore everybody's public interest, but we want you to respect the presumption of innocence until proven otherwise. Look, as far as I'm concerned, where there's smoke, there's fire. He's a previous ICE addict and he's had criminal charges for burglary in the past. I mean, 
the cops really are doing a high profile arrest here. So what are they going to say? Oh, no, sorry, bro. We had the wrong person on 12 charges. I guess we'll see. But anyway, my opinion is he's probably guilty. But if he's innocent, fine. I just don't know why they'd go through all this. But like I said, Richmond are pretty confident. Um, and they're letting him play, especially if they let him play in three weeks, knowing what's happening here. Um, they would look like the biggest goofs if he ends up being guilty um, and has actually committed a lot of burglary on these commercial properties. Okay, let me know what you think in the comments below.